I kind of like down here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 36, Cycles Awareness. In today's episode, we re-entered uh, having looked at an old video highlight we did on how to compose video, and it was the place where we had big ahas about sound being 360 and eyes being 120 in front of us. And coincidentally, we heard a helicopter during our morning walk, and even with a stocking cap and a hood on, we could distinguish, we deliberately didn't look, where it was overhead. So... Sound is 360, even though music comes across as linear, uh, unless you're in surround stereo, I guess. And uh, vision tends to come straight, like a cone of vision coming out of here. And we're still not sure how we would get 360 vision without moving our head. We have to move our head, whereas we can get the 360 sound without moving our head. Something to think about. In any event, we started working on a second work area of our idea for a four movement suite. This is our first area, and this is the second one that we worked on entirely today. Um, while we were doing that, we found two more chords, E5-2 and B flat 2 5 that we had somehow missed in our original tonality reference, so we added that. And we've got four arcs completed so far, which we're going to play for you now, So that concludes today's stream. There are a couple things we like about this. Number one, we got four new arcs, four new themes, and we're not even using the two themes that we had in our last composition. And they're all coming from the same set of six notes. <clears throat> this one is a very warm and comforting theme. This one is kind of an exotic or disturbing theme. Earlier it was just more exotic, and then way up here it was sort of, um, I don't know, it was slow exotic. So we have slow, fast, fast, slow, 
And um, this one technically could be related to one of our first improvisations. However, we're using completely different kinds of chords and things. So we really feel like we're still expanding the material coming out of the same six note uh, full tonality scale. And we're getting different feels, uh, senses, uh, thematic colors, uh, which is very promising because then we can make it an overall suite with more than one movement. Our ideas for next time are to uh, keep working with the second suite area. There's some more hooks that we could add. Um, remember, we're, we're pulling stuff out of this, this area here, what we call improvisation two. So everything you just heard uh, in the arc four came out of what we call the cognitive familiar area. So we still have what we call a, uh, a the exotic and disturbing area. Actually, I think it came out of the familiar, but in any case, that's what we're going to work on. Plus our good old friend to be determined. So thank you for Stopping by, acknowledgments to Lewis Sox and to AC. Thank you for your comments during the stream. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.